World Cup. Today, you will try the Red Door Yellow Door ritual. It's a game where one person acts as a guide, puts you in a trance, and leads you through doors and rooms in your mind. However, it can be very dangerous, so you need to make the right decisions. You have invited your friend May to help you. She will be your guide. May starts explaining things you should be careful with. If you encounter people in the rooms, do not interact with them. They might want to trick you. If you walk into a room full of clocks, leave immediately. Clocks can trap you. You can go wherever you want, but it's better to go up than down. If you become trapped inside a room, you have to try to wake up or you will stay in a trance forever. If you encounter a man in a suit, leave the game immediately. They say that if you die in the game, you die in real life. You lay down on the floor and May is sitting beside you. You close your eyes. You calm down and relax while chanting, red door, yellow door, any other colored door. You hear that May is chanting the phrase too. May starts describing a scene. You stop chanting and you find yourself standing in a dimly lit hallway. Just as May described, May's voice echoes in your mind, remembering you to be cautious and to make the right decisions. You take a deep breath preparing yourself for the unknown that lies beyond each door. There, in front of you, is the red door. The red door is associated with danger and negative experiences. May advise you not to enter the red door or interact with anything behind it. Next to it is the yellow door. It has a warm and inviting glow. May tells you that the yellow door is safe, and if you walk through it, you will be able to explore the imaginary world beyond. You really should pick the yellow door, but there's just something calling to you from beyond the red door. It's just a game, right? You choose the red door and walk in. As you step through the red door, a chilling gust of wind greets you sending shivers down your spine. The room beyond is dark and unsettling, with large shadows across the walls. You cautiously explore the room. Strange symbols adorn the walls, and in the corner you see a flickering candle. As you continue deeper into the room, you catch a glimpse of a door with clocks painted on it. May's warning echoes in your mind, remembering you of the dangers associated with rooms full of clocks. Your heart races as you walk past the room. Time almost feels distorted. You are aware of May's distant voice calling out to you. It's urging you to wake up, but you realize that you are unable to respond. You start to feel panicked as you desperately try to wake up, but you can't. What should you do? You look around the hallway. To your right, you see an escalator. You look up, but it doesn't seem to have an end. It ascends up into the sky. To your left, you see a black door. When you look at it, it opens very slightly. You can hear a faint voice from the darkness within. I can help you. I know how to get back to the real world. Follow me. You have to choose. Will you step onto the escalator? Or will you go through the black door? <laughs> 